<laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I like to do is kind of go over your basic characteristics of an ellipse. And when we're looking at an ellipse, there's two different types of ellipse ellipses that we have. We're going to have one where we're going to have a major axis is going to be vertical. And we're going to have one where we're going to have a major axis is horizontal. Okay. Now, a lot of times, um, the center of this, just thinking of even like a circle, which is an ellipse as well, but the center um, is going to, or this, the center of our ellipse is going to be a center. And I'll put that point right here. And the center is in the form, when we get to our equations, of h comma k. Okay? So there's your center, h comma k. Now, you can see that this ellipse is elongated um, vertically, right? So this is what we call my major axis. And what's at the tip of your major axis is going to be your two vertices. Um, vertices are one vertex, and there's my other vertices. So that's your major axis. At the end of your major axis, or uh, I'm sorry, um, also on your major axis is your what we call our foci. Okay. Now, this information I could do the same for a horizontal one, um, but the only difference with the horizontal though, I'm going to still label it. But now, here are my two vertices. Here is my major axis. Here's my vertice, vertice, and foci, foci. All right. So notice how the foci are foci center and the vertices are always on your major axis, where in this case, they're on my major axis, but that's vertical. And then here is what we call our minor axis. And at the end of the minor axis is your what we call our co-vertices. Okay? And let's just pretend here, here's my minor axis. So I'll say, all right, here's a covertice, and here is a covertice. Now, the basic definition, um, what's also important for you guys to understand, is so we look at, I know that looks like all crazy, right? So there's your two foci, here's your two covertices, um, here is our center, which is HK, and our two vertices right there. We have our minor axis and our major axis. Now, the characteristics when we're graphing or writing the equation of an ellipse. Um, we're going to be very, very interested in the value or the distance from the center to your vertices. So the center to my vertice is going to be a distance of a, where the major axis has a distance of 2a. The distance from my um, covertice, my center to my covertice, is going to be a distance of b, where the distance of my whole minor axis is 2b. And then lastly is the distance from my center to my foci is going to be c. All right. And lastly, a lot of times we're only going to be given information for a and b, or a and c, or c and b, um, if we need to evaluate. Now, when we're writing the equation, we only need to know a and b, right? But a lot of times when we're graphing, to, evaluate, to find the value of uh, your foci, we need to know the value of c, right? Because once we find the center, we just go left and right on the a distance of c to find each foci. So the last kind of characteristics that's very important is, c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared. Okay. Oh, and actually one last thing is um, the distance of um, yeah. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Those are your basic characteristics of an ellipse. Thanks.